For the second day in a row, women across the country are planning to march in support of female empowerment, equality, and the Me Too movement. Laura Podesta tells us about yesterday's demonstrations. From coast to coast, hundreds of thousands of demonstrators took part in the second annual Women's March. Some were critical of the Trump administration. I'm here for the, for the um, dreamers and, and just everybody. President Trump tweeted, celebrate the historic milestones and unprecedented economic success. Not far from the White House, thousands gathered at the Lincoln Memorial, where congressional leaders urged more women to run for office. And in politics, make the wholesome difference. And the more we have, the better off our country will be. And that's the truth. Crowds swelled in San Francisco, Denver, and Cleveland. Marchers spoke out about violence against women and showed support for the Me Too movement. I have little girls at home, and um, I just want to teach them that we have to stand up for what we believe. In New York City, a massive crowd marched through the streets. Women and men wearing pink hats and carrying signs said now was the time to be heard. There's so much that's wrong with our politics right now and wrong in the country, and there's so many people that are being hurt from immigrants to women. Marches are planned through the weekend. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. There's going to be an event today at Union Depot in St. Paul. Women's March Minnesota, Hear Our Voice, goes from 3.30 to 7.00.